Coming up on Doctype, it's Mobile Madness. Want an awesome looking mobile version of your website? We'll show you how to get started with JQ Touch. Then, designing a mobile site can be fun, but it's easy to get carried away. We'll explain some things to watch out for. So get ready to think big on the small screen because it's time for Doctype. This episode of Doctype is brought to you by the Future Web Apps Miami and Viewpoint. I'm Nick Pettit. And I'm Jim Hoskins. And you're watching Doctype. Whether you're a designer that wants to learn a little bit of coding or a developer that thinks everything they make looks like crap, Doctype is here to show you the latest tips, tricks, and tools to help you take your next project to the next level. So before we get into it today, we're going to be talking about just a little bit of news. Coming up next month is the Future of Web Apps Miami, and for the rest of this month, Doctype is going to be featured on the Think Vitamin blog from Carsonified, which is the company that puts on FOA. So check them out at thinkvitamin.com. Also, last week, jQuery 1.4 was released, the latest major release in about 11 months. There's a lot of underlying speed enhancements and some neat new features. We'll be covering jQuery 1.4 in depth in a future episode, but right now it's the 14 days of jQuery celebrating the jQuery 1.4 release. Which is at jQuery14.com? That's right, jQuery14.com. And there's a new sort of announcement every day for 14 days. And I hear at the end a new jQuery UI release is due to come. That sounds pretty cool. Well, we're going to be talking more about jQuery 1.4 in the future, but today we are going to be talking about JQ Touch and how to design for mobile websites. JQ Touch is a jQuery plugin that allows for mobile web development for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and in the future, the Android and WebOS browsers. It allows you to create a website that has a native look and feel, and it includes UI elements, navigation, and animation. It uses a very simple markup to divide your content into pages and manages things like page transitions and history management automatically. All you need to do is create the markup, include some CSS and JavaScript files, and initialize JQ Touch, and you've got a pretty snappy mobile website in just a few minutes. One of the coolest parts of JQ Touch is how easy it is to get started. The default way of navigating an application is a drill down style list, like in the iPod application. Each page on the site is made up of a div with an ID, and you load all your pages into the body of a single document, and just point your links to the ID of the page you want to load. To create an iPhone style list, you just create a normal unordered list with links inside of each element. You can use special built-in classes to style the lists like group list or edge to edge lists. By default, the next page will slide in from the right side of the page. If you create a link with class back, it'll load the previous page with a reverse animation. You can even load in Ajax by pointing to a page on your server and it'll automatically fetch it and load it into the page. What really blows people away are the animations. Mobile Safari is actually a really great browser and one of the only ones to support 3D CSS transformations. WebKit on the desktop doesn't even support that very well. It also uses CSS3 animations which run natively on the iPhone, which makes them incredibly fast. By default, the pages load in by sliding right to left, but it also includes a full catalog of transformations like dissolve, fade, flip, pop, swap, and cube. All of these can be applied by setting a class on your link with the same name as the animation. JQ Touch will even run these animations in reverse when the user clicks back. JQ Touch has a lot of other killer features like image preloading, local caching, and themes. Check them out at jqtouch.com. FOA Miami is just about a month away. Are we going to see you there? The Future of Web Apps is back in Miami at the beautiful Colony Theater on South Beach. It's a three-day event from February 22nd to the 24th and features workshops and presentations from the coolest people in the web industry, like Gary Vaynerchuk of Wine Library TV, Fred Wilson from Union Square Ventures, Tara Hunt, the author of The Woofy Factor, and John Rezig, the creator of jQuery. To learn about topics like HTML5, JavaScript, jQuery, and online marketing, Jim and I have attended FOA Miami every year and we're definitely not going to miss this one. It's going to be awesome. To learn more and get your ticket, check out Carsona com. More people than ever are browsing the web using smartphones, so making sure your website works in a mobile browser is essential. We'll show you what you need to know. The first thing to ask is, do you even need a mobile version of your website? The iPhone OS and Android-based smartphones are designed to make normal websites look good. Still, you may want to consider making a mobile version of a website if you're designing for, say, a content-heavy website or a brick and mortar business. There are many design considerations that are specific to mobile devices. 
Here are just a few. Start by cutting features. Unless your site or application is incredibly simple, you're gonna have to pull back. Screen real estate is at a premium. Make your mobile site feel native to the phone if possible. If your mobile traffic is primarily iPhone users, use the same buttons and widgets that they're familiar with. JQ Touch makes this pretty easy to do. If your site is for a brick and mortar business, like a restaurant franchise, try using the geolocation API in HTML5. You could present the user with three nearby locations or give them a local discount. Now, the geolocation API that I mentioned is a bit more advanced, but I'm sure we'll get into it in a future episode. Now, I know it's tempting to get all flashy and impress people with your mobile website, but there's a few pitfalls you're gonna wanna look out for. Don't use Flash. Just don't. I'm talking to you, restaurants. Flash technically doesn't work on most phones right now, including the iPhone, and it's just too intense for such a small screen. Make sure deep linking works the way it should. For example, I love collegehumor.com, but when I tap a link to a video on their site on my iPhone, their mobile site doesn't take me straight to the video. Why not? Keep file sizes down if possible. Bandwidth and memory are at a high premium on mobile devices, so you'll want to make sure that your mobile site loads fast and doesn't crash the browser. Viewpoint is the simplest and most elegant way for creative professionals to present their work to clients. No more emailing images or manually building presentations. Password-protected project galleries keep all your work organized in one place. Organize your files by project, control and gather client feedback, automatically version control your designs, and present images, videos, or flash animations. So whether you're developing a simple website design, an online banner campaign, or a complex web application, Viewpoint easily manages the design review process and keeps everyone on track with getting designs approved. Viewpoint is a hosted web application created by designers from real-world experience. Get your work approved quickly. Get Viewpoint. That's all for this week. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, check us out at facebook.com slash doctype and be sure to follow at doctype TV on Twitter. Also, if you have a question you'd like answered in a future episode of Doctype, send us an email at questions at doctype.tv. And if you subscribe via RSS or iTunes, you'll never miss an episode of Doctype. So until next Tuesday, remember that every great webpage starts with Doctype.